How's it going everybody? My name is Lucian and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up KubeCutter's AMP Game Server Manager. So before we begin, I do want to mention that unlike all my other videos, this is a paid software, but it's relatively cheap. Uh, if we check out AMP here and then click on Buy AMP, you see they have a couple different licenses, Standard Edition, which uh, which has five instances, and that's only $10 lifetime. You got a pro professional edition with 15 instances at $20 lifetime. You have an advanced with 50 instances, and that is a $40 lifetime payment. And then you have the enterprise edition, which uh, this tutorial is not for you, but that is $20 monthly. Uh, more than likely, you're either going to be on one of these three editions, whether the advanced, uh, professional, or standard will be the edition that you guys will probably be using. So in order to get started, we're going to click on get started. And right here where it says install AMP, we're going to click that. And then we are using Linux, specifically Ubuntu. We're gonna click that and then we're going to run this command. It's super, uh, super simple. We do need to be in root. Open up my SSH, I'm already logged in. So now we need to switch to root by doing sudo sd like that and type in our sudo password. And now we're logged in as root. We're going to right click to paste. And once it's pasted in, we are going to hit enter. All right, now it's asking us for the username for the panel. You can put whatever you want. I am going to put admin and then of course your password retype your password and then here it's asking us if you want to use docker which they do strongly recommend for windows based applications uh, such as if you're running let's say arc survival ascend it which is only supports windows you're going to want it uh, you're going to want to run it in docker so we are going to hit yes for that and then for https since this is going to be locally hosted i'm not going to bother walking through this, uh, these steps. So we're going to hit no for that. And this is just to confirm it. So we're going to hit enter and we're going to wait for this to load. Okay. And once we are here, you can see that it does give us the uh, address to go to in our browser. And pretty much after this, we are done in the console. Actually, we are we are completely done in the console after this step. So we're gonna go to this link, which is basically the same as our SSH uh, with port 8080. So we're gonna go ahead and minus that out. And let's go to that address. And then we're gonna type in our username and password we set up in the beginning here. And then from here, we're going to hit next. Then you need your license key. If you do not have a license key, you click here and buy it. After you purchase your license key, it will be emailed to you. So just open up your email and copy and paste yours, your license key in there. I'm going to go ahead and paste my license key in there and then we're going to click on next. All right. Now for this, uh, I'm not going to be, I'm just going over a super simple process. You can install this on, you can install like the, the mainframe, the ADS on one server, and then you can have multiple servers, multiple other servers that actually host the game servers. Then one server that kind of hosts the main panel. But we're not going to be doing all that. We're just going to be doing the default where the panel and all the servers are hosted on the same machine because it's, it's the most simplest to set up. And that's what we're going with today. So select standalone here and then click on next. And then feel free if you want to share your data uh, anonymously, you can allow all that. In my case, I'm just going to hit deny all and then hit next. And then we're gonna restart AMP, and this will restart in the back end automatically. You don't have to worry about anything, just wait here.
All right, now that's we've started, we're gonna have to log in again. So we'll put in our username and password once more. And now we're in. So now we can go ahead and create our servers. Now, the, the amount of servers you can create will depend on the amount of instances you chose. So if you chose the professional, you can create 15 servers, for example. So let's go ahead and create one server here. Let's say, let's do, I don't know. Uh, let's do Power World. Where's Power World? Right here. You can name it a friendly name if you want. Start instance on boot, that's what I want. And we're going to create instance. Let's create another one. You can see that. Um, actually, let me cancel this. You can see that instance creating right here on the bottom right. We're going to create another one while that's doing that. Let's say we want, let's say we want a Minecraft server. Just find Minecraft. We're going to do Java edition. And we're going to create a, a Minecraft instance. And then we're going to simply wait for these to load up and you'll see them pop up here instead of create instance you'll see two additional servers for me since i did power world and minecraft all right while we're waiting for minecraft here let's go ahead and click on manage right here so we can kind of see what's going on so here you can see the ports that you're going to need. If you want to make the server public, you will need to take these ports and put them in your, um, open them up in your router to port forward them. And then, so we can check the status of the install by clicking on the console here. You can see right now it is starting to download the, the files needed to run the server. And then you'll be able to see your CPU usage, the RAM. This stuff was automatically assigned to, to what the game needs, which is very nice. And you can always come in here and configure. Go to Power World. This is the name of the server, which you can change. You have the description. You have all your settings in here. Gameplay settings. And the multipliers so you can change all these hunger depletion rate auto hp regen all that fun stuff and then you'll be able to do the same with minecraft as well so while this server is booting up let's return to our instances here and now we see minecraft as well this is currently idle which means this is already up and running actually i'm sorry this we have to accept the eula i believe on this one All right, and now we're going to accept the ELA so the server will start booting up. Then we can go to the console here and you'll be able to see everything running. We got configuration, we got Minecraft. So here are just your Minecraft stuff, name of the server. You can change the type if you want to do spigot, paper, fabric, forge, you know, if you want to do mod packs or whatever the case may be, you have all your options here. Uh, you got your network options, performance, gameplay, difficulty, security, sleep mode. So basically, if no one's on the server, the server kind of goes into a sleep mode, so no one can, you know, you can join it to wake it up and then you'll have to rejoin it. I'll show you that here in just a second. So the server is active. That's already up and running. We can check this. This is this is still starting up. We got a console to see where it's at. It's currently at 62%. So we can log into the Minecraft server now if we wanted to. Alright, now that we got Minecraft open, we can select multiplayer. Proceed. And let's go ahead and add a server. We're gonna do the IP address. Since I'm running localhost, I'm doing the local IP address. Click on done. Wait for it to reach this connection. Then you see powered by amp and then we can log in. And you'll see that we have a working Minecraft server. This is just straight vanilla. Uh, of course, if you want to do your mods or whatever, you'll have to, you know, change the startup file and do uh, spigot or fabric, you know, whatever you want to do. Right, Power World is running, so we can even jump into Power World right now and have a look see at that. 
All right, now that we're in Power World, we're gonna click on Jordan Multiplayer. And then for my case, we're going to do the direct connection just because it's the easiest with the port number and the my local IP address. We're gonna hit connect. We're just gonna make sure that we can connect to the server. And there we go. We are connected to the Power World server, create our character, and then enter the world. Choose our spawn location. And just like that, we are in our own Power World server. And we can play and do whatever we want. And that's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Uh, you know, feel free to look around, play with stuff as you as you want. But this is a very simple, very easy setup, um, and it's, it's pretty cheap to, you know, do it yourself. It's only ten, twenty dollars for the license. For mo most people, are probably gonna do the ten to twenty dollar license for you know up to three to fifteen servers. Um, if you want to go big and do, you know, 50 servers, you know, then you're going to have to use the, the $40 license, but it's still, it's, it's a one-time, it's a one-time fee unless you plan on doing some commercial stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one.